It's Lesson 14, Science 7, and in this lesson, we're going to explore one of our last examples of evolution. Today, you're going to need a pencil, the journal slip, and your science journal. I want you to meet the rock pocket mouse. A typical rock pocket mouse, like you see on your screen, is 170 millimeters long, from the tip of its nose all the way to the end of its tail. It's just shorter than an average pencil. And at about 15 grams, this tiny mouse weighs about as much as a handful of paper clips. Now you can find populations of rock pocket mice all over the Sonoran Desert in the Southwest United States. You can see the desert landscape on this map shown in orange. Now there are two common varieties of mouse, a light colored variety on the left and a dark colored variety on the right. There are also two major colors of substrate. That's a fancy word for desert surface, the surface that makes up the desert floor. Most of the desert surface consists of light colored sand and rock, but there's patches of dark volcanic rock that have formed from lava flows and they're separated by these kilometers of light colored substrate. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you four images of the Sonoran Desert. Each image shows two locations, location A and B. For each card and each location, I want you to count and record the number of each type of mouse. Here's card one. Now for location A, how many light colored mice do you see? How many dark colored? I want you to count and record this on your journal slip. Then do the same for location B. How many light colored mice do you see? and how many dark colored. Pause the screencast now to do so. Make sure you double check yourself and you don't miss any mice. Now let's do the same thing for card two. Pause the screencast and record the number of each mouse variety for each location. Again, be careful when you're counting. Okay, here's card three. Pause the screencast and record your data on your journal slip. And finally, card four. Pause the screencast and record your data on your journal slip. Again, these four cards show the desert at specific points in time. Remember, each card shows two locations, A and B but the two locations are at the same point in time. So imagine flying over the desert and getting to see one spot of the desert, location A, at the same time that you get to see the other spot, location B. That's what this card is doing. But right now, the four cards are not in the correct order. This is where you come in. Your job is to order the four cards to reflect how the population of rock pocket mice evolved over time. This means you need to put the cards in order from oldest to most recent. The first card should reflect the farthest back in time, with the last card reflecting the most recent point in time. You know a lot about natural selection, so I want you to draw on that knowledge as you try to order the cards. Now, it may be challenging to order the cards by just looking at the screen, so I posted the cards as a file on Schoology. If you choose, you can print out the four cards and cut them apart using scissors and then move them around at home so you can experiment with different orders. Once you have the order you think best shows the evolution of these mice, write the number order on your journal slip and make sure you justify why you think this order is the correct one. So how does your thinking compare to your classmates? I hear a dis discussion board coming on. Now a true discussion board has a lot of back and forth comments between students. And this is why I want you to respond to your peers. I know it can be tough to keep checking back throughout the day, but I would really encourage you to do so at least a few different times. When you pop back in, read the discussion thread, keep posting. You'll see I'll pop in, Mrs. Zanone will pop in, we'll post questions, make comments. We'll do that so we can all move our thinking forward. Remember, press each other for evidence and reasoning. You're doing a great job using the sentence starters. But as you discuss, you should also be drawing on your knowledge of science and using science words like fitness or mutation or environmental pressure. 
to justify your thinking, okay? So there's nothing left for you to do but order those cards and then make sure you go back to the Schoology folder to get onto the discussion board. Until tomorrow, keep thinking and keep learning.